Hi guys, welcome back to Infinite Math Help Squared. This is a second rotation video. It's going to be very short. I'm going to quickly cover 60 degrees. Um, not using a compass and protractor uh, or tracing paper, but actually using a different type of grid. In the first rotation video, we were using the coordinate plane, traditional uh, 90 degree um, angles were in the background. And if you have to do a 60 degree rotation, I'm going to give you a couple of links, a link to this applet, as well uh, as a link to uh, a site that allows you to uh, use PDF version of this grid. Okay, so let's take a look at what this might look like. Rotate triangle ABC 60 degrees around point A, and it's going to be clockwise. Okay, so why this grid? You see triangles now instead of squares. And what do you know about triangles? Well, triangles are half of squares. Squares and circles have 360 degrees. So half of, half of um, the square would be 180. And if you take a look closely... These are no ordinary triangles. They are actually equilateral. Because in the center, if this was a circle, that would be 360 degrees. And I have exactly one, two, three, four, five, six of them, which means those degrees, that has to be 60 degrees each. That helps me because we're specifically asked to rotate by 60 degrees. Okay. Using the same strategy, equidistant from pre-image uh, pre to center and then to image. All right, well, if I started with C, because remember, A will be fixed. We're rotating around A, and so that means it's a center, it's fixed. So if I start with C, I'm going here through my center, and I need to go 60 degrees, and every triangle is 60 degrees. So from here, very, very conveniently, this is 60 degrees. I know I'm supposed to be around here somewhere. And it works just like the grid. So one, uh, two, the uh, square grids, the Cartesian plane. One, two, three, four, and I know I have to be somewhere over here. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. Just want to make that a little smaller. Okay, C prime. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. B. B to the center and 60 degree angle. And remember, we were supposed to be going clockwise. That's why I'm going this way. Okay, this is 60 right here. So I have to be somewhere over here, and how many? One, two. Isn't that nice? One, two. Very convenient, um, as opposed to protractor and compass, if you're able to. Oops. Almost forgot. Let's label and sketch. Mm. Okay, and voila, we have polygon B prime. Um, this is a rotation 60 degrees around point A clockwise, but on a different type of grid to help us out with the 60 degrees. All right, guys, till next time.